Hey everybody, this is Kyle with Attack of the Fanboy, back with another Tears of Light walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Uh, this one is much more difficult, much more complicated than Pharaon Woods, which if you did not check out and you are still stuck there, uh, please check out our guide at attackofthefanboy.com or on our YouTube channel, uh, which you're already on, so check that out. Uh, as I said, this one's much more difficult, but it starts off pretty easy. Head to this building. You saw the scent trail heading in here. You want to just circle around to this wheelbarrow, and that will trigger Midna. She'll take you up into the top of the building, and you can just dig to head on in. Uh, inside, there's a quick little puzzle. There's also a very long cutscene, so listen to the kids and trigger that cutscene. I think it triggers that way. And they will talk about how the bugs are downstairs. And the only way to get it is to light these candles that will open the door. So grab the wood, light it on fire, do this little circle run, and it will open up the pathway to the basement. Head on down there and you will find the first Tears of Light for Kakariku, Kakariko Village. I'm going to keep saying that wrong. Just ignore it. Don't say anything in the comments. Because, you know that's just the way it goes. So head on down, and I think that there's three down here actually. It really kicks off early, and then it slows to a crawl after this. So these three are easy. Grab them and move down the hallway towards the end. That'll trigger Minda. And climb out into the graveyard where there used to be a Tears of Light, but that is gone now. So you can just head back to the village and cross the street, and you'll see that little pathway up into these buildings. Um, I've, I've done a lot of cutting, so, you know, it, you should know where these locations are. Just explore the city, and, and you'll figure out where they are. Um, so, yeah, that's just across the street. When you exit the graveyard, head up into this area, and uh, there's one tier of light in here. He's hiding, as you can see, in that little chimney stack. So, you need to do the same thing. Uh, you actually use fire a lot in this quest. So, you grab the uh, board down here and light it on fire, and then you light the uh, stove, and that will get him to come out. Took me a little while to figure it out, but here you go. Uh, you can also explore the rest of this building. There's no quest items in here, but there's a lot of rupees, and uh, there's a ton of enemies to fight, stuff like that. So if you feel like it, go ahead and explore this building, check it out, take out some enemies, knock some stuff down. Whatever. There's a lot of stuff to do in uh, in the city. And again, if you saw our last guide, I missed this guy. So that's why I jumped to later. Uh, he doesn't die when you scare him out of there. He just kind of comes out and uh, is in the room with you. So make sure you kill him. After you kill him, exit. You're good to go. Just uh, head right across the street, and you're going to climb on top of these buildings. There's one with kind of a rickety roof. There's a, It's got a hole in its roof. You just stand on it, you're going to fall right through. So uh, easy to get moving. There's one in here. I keep getting my numbers wrong. And he's hiding under that box. So you need to push the box from the other side, <laughs> not to this side. And he will come running out. And you can kill him and grab the... Uh, next tier of light. This should be your fifth. It's my fourth because I missed that one earlier. Uh, when you walk over here, you actually need to knock this. Nope, you don't need to knock that down. Ignore what I'm saying. You knock others down later on. Head down the street some more and you'll see this building. It's actually the bomb shop. You'll see the sign out front. Climb on the shed and you have to dash right there. You can't just jump into that window. It will not break. You're going to fall down. You need to hit the A button when you jump, and that will dash you into the window and cause it to break. Head upstairs, and this is where you actually do need to knock that uh, cupboard over, dresser, I don't know what it is. Knock it over, he'll come running out, climb on top of it, and head outside. But this time you're going to be much higher, and you are close to done. You're over halfway to finishing this endlessly frustrating quest. Hey. 
So when you get out here, uh, you don't have to just stand here. The next tiers of light are right behind you. So you just turn around. There's a bunch in this building. There are three. You see one, he's running in there. He's got some friends. So chase him exactly where he went in. Go in this hole and head in the building. And you're gonna do your trick again, the fire trick. So grab the nearest stick, find the nearest fire, light it up, and light the stove. And this one's gonna be a little bit more explosive. So you might panic, you might freak out. What do I gotta do? I gotta kill those guys. Don't worry about it, the fire's gonna take care of them. Head out where you came in. You don't need to grab that. That was just me panicking. <laughs> So head out exactly where you came in the room and you will get a nice little cutscene and at the end of it you will be able to grab three more tiers of light and be just about done. The next group are pretty tough to find. Um, I won't say that they're tough to find but they're uh, a long way away. So grab these three and you're going to head back down to the street. There's a sort of cave uh, ramp off to the right if you keep heading down the street the way that you were past these buildings and all of that. And it's going to head up to Death Mountain where the Gorons live. Um, so head on up this way and you'll be progressing nicely. Of course you need to go to the right here. There's the uh, platform. That's going to trigger Midna. And she will guide you all the way up to the top. You're going to come back here as a human uh, later on, but you're going to need the iron boots to do it. I won't spoil where you get them, but you will need them. So if you're coming back here and you don't have your iron boots, maybe go looking for some other stuff to do. The rest of them are down this pathway, just, you know, kill any enemies that uh, get in your way and you're gonna find a ton of Goron way ahead but before you get there there's there's one kind of a long the uh, the walkway once you start seeing these weird steam geysers uh, you're getting close And this one, again, is a burrowing uh, tier of light. I don't know what they're called, the, the bugs themselves. But he keeps burrowing, so whenever that happens, you just want to get uh, on top of him and hit the dig button, and that'll cause him to pop out. This guy's a little tough. To, he was a little tough to kill for me just because I was being an idiot. But uh, avoid those geysers. No don't damage you. And if you see there's uh, one of those stones, be sure that you go up to that and do your little howl mini game, and that'll trigger um, the sword technique teacher to show up later on. Uh, I didn't need to do it here, so I didn't. As you can see in the mini map, these last two are pretty far down here. Um, if you have trouble seeing that on your TV, if you're sitting far away or it's a small TV, this is the Wii U. You got the gamepad. Pull the mini-map up on the gamepad. I know you like your items. Managing the items on the gamepad is the best part of this remake, but or this re-release. But you're a wolf. You don't need any items. So pull up the mini-map. You can zoom in. You can do a bunch of stuff to uh, help you with this quite frustrating mission. Uh, the next tier of light is on that back wall. If you see it, the kind of darker um, gate-looking wall, uh, he's just kind of chilling over there. you got to kill these guys first. And um, one of them is off on his own, so don't worry about these three. You're going to need to take that one out first. This is kind of the first time that they do this, but you're going to see it a ton later on in the game where they section one off. Always take that one out first. It's just easier uh, to kill them all at the same time when they're bunched up like these guys are. Uh, you know, kind of bunched up. 
So take him out and then get these three whenever they do bunch up. I have another warp for later, which will come in handy in Lake Hylia. But be sure to check out our other guide for that section of the game. Uh, as I said, the next tier of light is off to the right there. It took me a little bit to uh, see him, but you should be able to grab him a little bit quicker than me. Once you have him, there's only one left. You're almost done. Don't go running this way. It's the wrong way. Uh, you were doing it right the first time. It's this little pathway next to that wall. Trigger Midna. She will guide you up. Watch that geyser. Don't jump when the geyser's going off. And you will get up on this wall. And you're going to move a, uh, a little bit further. And you're actually... It's, it's kind of a hidden pathway. Uh, it's not super hidden, but... It's not necessarily intuitive that you want to go on that left pathway. Down here there's some rupees and there's some stuff that you can dig up. It's all good. Whatever. But uh, when you do want to progress, head up this little side wall. For some reason you can't jump on it. I don't know why. Take out any enemies because they're going to be a headache when you're in such a small uh, spot like that. They can knock you down and whatever it's just a little frustrating once you get up here Minda should freak out and uh she'll take you up to the last wall that you need to jump up on from here you're just going you're you're so close to done you you just need to go actually to the left don't do this stuff you don't have to if you don't want to there's some uh fun little dialogue but the last tier of light is down in the uh it's a hot spring, which is great if you are running out of hearts. It'll refill you. You can also fill up the bottle and save it for later. Although if it cools off, it's no use. It becomes regular water. But the final tier of light is right down there with those uh, smaller shadow beasts. So once you jump down here, you should see them. These guys are uh, a little annoying, so take them out. Uh, whenever you can and turn on your senses to find him he's just kind of lingering around and once you get him that is the last one you are all done with the tears of light the second quest in Kakariko village there's still Lake Hylia we do have a guide for that on the website attack of the fanboy.com should also be on our YouTube channel so check those out if you're having trouble but this is Kyle thanks for joining me